two-part question. Okay. A, a lot of times boxing fans don't realize that there are other uh, genres trying to book these same venues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, uh, Madison Square Garden, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, the Crypto Arena. Oh, yeah. You're, you're competing with, you know, the NBA. Yep. You're competing with concerts, et cetera. Absolutely. So it, is that the one of the main reasons why fights get pushed back? Absolutely. I mean, here's the thing. Let's use November 19th as a prime example because that's the you know the date that everybody's saying that this fight may happen between Spence and Crawford right mm -hmm. there's a NFL team right mm -hmm. at yeah. the Allegiant Stadium mm -hmm. in Vegas mm -hmm. now we what we would have to do as a promoter as 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 a manager what we would have to do is determine are the Raiders going to be playing the day after because if they're away we can make that happen in Vegas. We don't want to compete with any other concert. We don't want to compete with any other comedy show. We don't want to compete with any other NFL uh, games. We don't want to compete with it because we want to draw not just the hardcore fans. We want to draw the average boxing fan and those that do not know too much about boxing, but they can enjoy the entertainment value of the sport of boxing in Vegas on that night with no competition. And that's how, and that's how the casinos can justify paying the fight, the site fees. That's how the hotels make money. This is big business. This is not just, you know, this is not just a boxing match and uh, it's a local show. Pay per view in Vegas is, it, it's, it's, it's. I mean, look, Floyd Mayweather can generate a hundred million dollars for businesses and everything else that's happening in Vegas in one night. And I'm not saying just him. Of course, you got to have his opponent. You have to have those other mm. six or seven fights under card it's a lot that goes into it and when you're generating that much money into a state we don't want any competition we want all eyes on spence versus crawford that night good shit good 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 shit all right so there, there there's a rumor that showtime and fox are both bidding on this fight okay could that be a reason why the announcement's being held up it could be but, I mean, think about it. I mean, we know that Showtime is the biggest boxing arm in the country right now mm. and internationally. So we don't have to second guess where this fight's going to be. I, I mean, wait, it's a possibility got, it could be wait, on Fox. Wait, wait, Mar Marty. Deontay Wilder, he's fighting on Fox right now. Wilder versus Fury was on Fox. It was on so Fox. So it's a... It's a it was on Fox. Yeah. Well, it, was, it was on Fox. But remember now, you have not seen an executive from Fox say anything about this fight. You're right. You have seen right. Steven Espinosa okay. in public on camera talking about this fight. You're right. On Showtime. You're right. Right or wrong. You're right. You're right. Okay. Matter of fact, I'll give you one better. All of the interviews that Bud Crawford has done in the lead up to this fight within the past eight to months to a year. He's been on Showtime talking about this. True. So this is all a part of the buildup. And I'm not True. just saying that it might be on Showtime. It could be on Fox. Could I'm it, just looking at how yeah. the networks is, is moving right now. Could it be that Fox slipped in an 11th hour and put a bid in for the fight? Oh, absolutely. But remember, it's all about the check. <laughs> Who is putting the money up? And that's what it's all about. I think Showtime have a, have a big enough budget to be able to make this happen very very easily and that's the great thing about pbc you have to give them credit the fans have to give them credit they have certain uh avenues that they can go and they can go cbs don't forget now cbs owns showtime no. a lot of people don't realize that mm -hmm. so they can go through cbs to get the money through showtime to put this fight on they can go through fox bottom line is they have options where if you're with let's say top rank ESPN Plus, that's that's all you're going. That's where it's going to be at. Mm. So we're we're dealing with a situation where we're in a good state. If those two networks are uh, debating on what network they're going to uh, showcase the fight on and get the ratings and all of that, that's actually a good thing. Mm. Because at the end of the day, PBC has a relationship with CBS through Showtime and Fox, so it, it don't matter. The fight, the fight's going to be televised through pay per view. The price is going up. Oh, with it, without without a question, without question, <laughs> without question, the price is going up. Why wouldn't it? What is the price is now? About eighty nine dollars, ninety bucks 
At a minimum? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it could be between 90 and 100. Okay. They can justify it. Now, for a fight that big, right, uh, something that often doesn't get talked about, sponsorships. Okay. Trunks. Um, yeah. Like, how much money is, is available to you, to a Terrence Crawford, to an Earl Spence? Let me tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. But if you go back and look at Terrence Crawford, let's just go back in his last six fights in, in the welterweight division. You don't see a lot of sponsorships uh, advertised on his trunks. Well, that could be a management thing. I know if I was managing him, man, we'd be getting that side money all the time. You know, because this is another way, like I always said on that last interview, you can generate revenue outside of the purse, right? Uh, but, but it's a lot of money to be made for both fighters outside of the purse. Mm -hmm. So like you talked about sponsorship opportunities. Let's take it to another level. What about the sponsorship opportunities for the promoter? For the promoters. Mm -hmm. And I'm including the networks in that. Mm -hmm. So, because they're televising. I mean, it's so much money that can be generated from this fight. But the problem is going to be, to me, is getting people to really buy the fight. And this is not just this fight. This is just in boxing in general. Because you have a lot of, you know, piracy issues. People sh downloading and streaming these fights free of charge, mm. you know, and they're not paying through pay-per-view. So that can affect some of the numbers as well. And I think that's the only big issue with this. But as far as sponsorship opportunities, as far as through the event, and on the fighters' trunks and their T-shirts that they can wear to the ring and the patches and logos on the robes and all kind of, there's all kind of ways that they can generate sponsorship money, the fighters and the event itself. It's really a big event, totally big.